live at 11. And tonight, calling it quits, nearly everyone on the Moapa Tribal Police Force has resigned. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ty Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. Several insiders tell 13 Investigates there's allegations of lawlessness and targeting drivers on I-15 to pay for police protection on the reservation. Well, 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels joins us now with more on this stunning news. Joe. Yeah, Todd, Tricia, folks up there, this is a pretty serious situation, as you can imagine, for folks up there. The reservation is about an hour north of the valley. It had a police force, we're told, of about a dozen officers. That was until Friday, when a months-long feud over funding and internal issues boiled over, and all but one of the officers resigned immediately. On a busy stretch of I-15, traffic whizzes by at 75 miles per hour. Insiders say it's been used as the only means to pay for policing on the Moapa Indian Reservation for at least the past 12 months. Everybody resigned on Friday except for one employee. 13 Investigates has agreed to keep this insider's identity confidential. He says the tribe does not adequately fund the police department, just one of the many reasons for the mass resignation. Very dangerous, very dangerous. There are, I've had phone calls from people saying that they are carrying guns because they're afraid. Insiders tell 13 Investigates tribal police focused on enforcement along a nine mile stretch of I-15 north of the Las Vegas Valley near the Valley of Fire exit. In the past 12 months, the number of tickets handed out has been increasing, reaching more than 500 per month recently. That hauls in more than $120,000 per month and was on pace to rake in more than $1.5 million per year. That covers the entire policing budget for the Moapa Reservation, insiders say. We were told that we are, are self-generated and we have to uh, have $1.4 million to survive. So we had to go out and write tickets. But that's just part of the problem. Insiders tell 13 Investigates the 4th of July event called Moapa Madness was chaos. This is YouTube video from the event and shows fireworks exploding, even a vehicle on fire. One man in his 80s was killed when part of his skull was blown away. During a fireworks explosion, another person had her arm nearly severed. It, it should have been prevented because if they would have had any planning or any safety officer for this planning, no, nobody would have got hurt. Whistleblowers say safety planning and serious concerns brought to tribal leadership were not heeded. An estimated 30,000 people showed up to launch high-powered fireworks during the event, where insiders say alcohol and marijuana were in abundance. And when you when you put alcohol with drugs and some type of fireworks, something major is going to happen, and it did. And a person lost their life from this. Insiders say the relationship between police and tribal leadership had been falling apart for months. Whistleblowers say police on the sovereign nation had not arrested a tribal member for any reason in nearly a year, adding there was a lack of judicial infrastructure and leadership oftentimes weighed in on calls for service, including domestic violence. The sovereign nation is nothing more than uh, anarchy, basically. Uh, they do what they want to do when they want to do it, and nobody controls them but them. 13 investigates asked about the mass resignation, a spokesperson saying in part, quote, currently we have an adequate staff of law enforcement officers and appreciate the assistance of the U.S. Bureau of Indian Affairs ensuring law and order on our reservation. We have no comment on specific individual personnel matters. As for concerns about funding and legal matters on the reservation, a request for comment was not immediately returned. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. New tonight.